Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create the Van Gogh effect. So as you can see, this is the effect right here, and we have all the lovely brush strokes, and we've also incorporated all the lovely swells like in a Van Gogh painting. So first things first, is I'm going to go and show you the main original image, which is this one right here. And this was quite a nice image to work on because we have all the lovely sunflowers. Now, this effect will work on any picture that you have, so you can really play around with it and get it just the way you like it. So every time you go and make this effect, it will turn out totally different. So this was number one, and then when I went to make it again, this is how it turned out. So every time you make it, it will turn out differently. Now, if you're working with Photoshop CS5, to make this effect, you will need to go and download a filter, which is called the Pixel Bender. Now, it will be in the description bar for you to go and download, so go check that link out, guys. If you're working with CS6, we can work around this because it has different filters. So from here, we're going to go and start off with a main original image. So let's go over to that. And from here, we're just going to go and duplicate our image. So Control and J or Command and J if you have a Mac. And then we're going to go up to Filter and we're going to go down to Liquify. Now from here, we're going to go up to the Forward Warp tool. And if you have any trees in your picture, then we're going to go bring the brush size down and we want it to around about the same size as the tree and we're just going to go and move it and bend it so it looks like it's been painted in so we want to do that to all the trees in our picture don't forget to uh, bring the brush size down so we can get to where we want it so around about there for us and from here we can just go and do the sky next so we're going to go bring the brush size up and I'm not going to go and tell you the right brush size for this because each image is totally different and it really depends on the size of your actual picture that you're working on. So I'm going to keep my brush to around about there and then all we're going to do is we're just going to go and swirl. So just go in a clockwise motion like this and this can take quite a long time. So you want to just pay attention and don't get too angry with it and just keep moving the mouse in a clockwise position and do that to the whole of the sky. Now I'm not going to stand around doing this to the whole thing because uh, I already have mine done so I'm just going to go cancel that and show you what it should look like. So this is what it should look like. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and add the sun in and a few of the dots. So we're going to go over to our paintbrush tool and we're going to go up to the top and we want these brushes right here now to get these brushes we're going to go to the cog which is on the top right hand corner and we're going to go down to thick heavy brushes and then click OK from here I'm going to go and select the 104 brush which is at the end I'm going to go and hide that and we want a vibrant yellow for this so we're going to go over and select a vibrant yellow and that should just be on the top right hand corner now the code for this is F6FF00 and you can pause the video right now to check out the code if you want to and click OK from here we're going to go bring up the brush size it really depends on how big the sun you want I'm going to keep it to around about there and you can go and place this anywhere you want so I'm going to place mine just here And once you have that, we're going to go bring the brush size down and we're going to go and create some smaller dots just with inside the actual spheres themselves. So what we've just made. So I'm going to go and place these different places because we're going to go and place white dots in as well. So around about here, not too many. And then we want to go and change our color to white. That's our foreground color. And we're just going to go and place some white dots in now. So go and place those in. And as I said, not too many. We don't want to go too wild with this. So I'm going to keep mine to round about there. And then from here, we're going to go and add a few filters. So go up to Filter. Go to Filter Gallery. And from here, we're going to go down to Distort. And we want to select Glass. From here, you can pause the video and check out these settings. Now, the distortion is going to be set to 10, the smoothness to 15, texture to canvas, and the scaling to 100%. Now, you can play around with these settings to get it to where you like it. And from here, we're going to go and click OK. And we're going to go back up to Filter. 
and we're going to go down to filter gallery again and we're going to go up to artistic and go down to poster edges from here you can pause the video again and the edge thickness is going to be set to zero edge intensity is going to be set to two and the posterization is going to be set to six and as i said play around with them and get them to where you want them click ok once you're done from here we're going to go up to filter and this is where it can change because if you're on cs5 then you'll have a little filter down here saying pixel bender you can click that and for us within cs6 we can go to oil paint so click oil paint and we have this come up now i already have my settings in for me so you can go and play around with the settings and get it to around about here which is quite nice so we can see all the brush strokes come through so if you want to follow me the stylization is going to be set to 10 cleanliness is going to be set to 1.7 Scale is 0 0.89, bristle detail is going to be set to 10, and for the lighting, which is angular direction, is 300, and the shine 3.05. And as I said, play around with it, and you can create some stunning effects with this. So go and click OK. And there we have it. We have our Van Gogh effect. Now you can add a lot more effects into this. And this works for a whole range of images. So play around with this. Go and have a lot of fun. And I hope you like the tutorial guys. So please comment, rate and subscribe. Go check out the website, Facebook and Google+. And if you want to support me, go check out the t-shirts that we have on offer. And the link will be after this video. So stay tuned for that. So apart from that guys, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.